Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, we'll be creating a custom portfolio on Salesforce. To create the custom portfolio, we'll create a custom community and we'll be adding some more pages in it. Like we'll be having home page, about us page. We can also have projects, gallery, and at the end, we'll be creating a contact page. For that guys, we'll be creating a custom community in it and we'll be customizing our portfolio as per our requirement. If you're new to community guys, so in this video, you will learn how you can enable the community, how you can create a new community and how you can customize the color theme in the community. So guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys. So for today's demo, first of all, you have to log in into a developer org. I'm using an empty org from Trailhead for this demo because in my org, the community was already enabled. So I just want to show you like how you can enable it. And guys, if you are new to community, so in this video, you can learn how you can create a new community and how you can customize it. Okay, so let's open the playground now. So this is my empty playground uh, in Trailhead. So guys, to enable the community, you have to just go to setup. Okay, and search for community. Go to community settings. okay and here's the checkbox to enable community so we'll enable the community and we have to look for a unique domain name so let's say we put it couple portfolio okay let's see if it is available okay yes it is so let's save this community guys So our community settings has been saved. All right. So we are not having any community here. So we'll be creating a new one. Okay, and guys, uh, for the community portfolio, I'll be taking some help from the my Trailhead from my Trailhead profile because in Trailhead profile you are already having a portfolio of your profile, and as well as we can use the LinkedIn also. So let's open the Trailhead profile side by side. Okay guys, so in this community page, we will be selecting the custom account portal option. There are different different templates you can choose as per requirements. For now, I am just selecting custom account portal. Okay, let's click on get started. Okay guys, so I am putting my name here and the URL, I will put portfolio. Okay, let's create it. And meanwhile, in Trailhead, let's go to Profile. So this is my Trailhead profile, guys. So we'll be taking data from this profile to our community profile. Okay. Okay, so our community was created. Let's click on Builder. So we are on community builder right now. All right, so this is our community guys. Let's skip this quick guide. Okay, so this is our header. This is our content editor, footer. So we are having basic details here. So let's change this image first. So I have selected this image and hit the delete. Okay, let me just remove the image first. Okay, now we will add a custom image here. We have to click on rich content editor first. After that, we can click on edit content and then we will be adding an image here. Let's click on upload image. 
okay so I'm having a separate folder for this community it should be in picture yeah here it is so here I'm already having some images uh, for my community so let's add this one okay so this will be my header image here and it is looking good okay now let's edit the tile menu we'll be creating some tabs here we'll be creating navigation bar here okay so let's click on default navigation and let's edit default navigation okay let's remove this support one so now we'll be adding menu like menu could be about it will be a community page or it could be an external URL also guys external URL you can create a global action so there are multiple options available and let's see what other option we are okay add an image no we don't want to add the image let's save the menu okay let's add more items so we can have about we can have projects also okay and apart from it we can also have a gallery of our pictures and we can have a contact contact me button okay all right so let's save this menu okay guys so we have saved the menu and as you can see the menu is coming here as tiles we can change the tile format from here we we can change the color also let's change the color let's add red color mm, let's make it a little darker okay this is looking good okay guys so our tiles are ready now let's customize this using the theme option here so let's change the color first so we can change the action color to red so all actions will be in red now and had a background let's make it red also okay and for page background color let's make it white okay so the page background is white now all right everything else is looking fine here okay so let's check it out one more time so this is our header guys so this is also in red color now let's add the navigation here as well so here's the navigation well navigation menu and we are having our menus here let's click on save okay let's replace the home with icon and i think we should change the color as well color of this text i mean it it would look great i mean if if the text color will be white so it will look more decent let's check the navigation text color if there is option to change the text color as well all right so it should be header text color here it is so if we make it white yeah looking better now okay guys so our community header is ready the community front is ready and we have tiles here so let's add few more things let's add quick links here okay click on the added content and remove these links from here so in quick link guys I'm linking my LinkedIn profile okay so let's bold it first okay now we will be adding the hyperlink and I will add my profile URL let me just open the LinkedIn okay let's sign in So I'll be linking my LinkedIn profile here 
Okay, it's asking for too many verifications. All right, so this is my LinkedIn profile and this is my LinkedIn URL. Okay. So I have copied my URL from there and we'll be adding it in the rich text editor. So let's hit on edit and after that, okay, so we have inserted the link here and there is option to open the page in a new window. So we'll keep it selected and let's add some more uh, links here like trailblazer profile. Let's make it bold and copy the trailblazer profile from here okay let's edit it again okay so i'm editing my trailblazer profile link here okay and at the end let's add the twitter profile as well so this is my twitter profile okay let's add the twitter url here okay guys so for for now i'm just adding these three options and you can add more as per your requirement okay let's save it all right it's looking good now let's remove this paused flows option we don't need it here and i'm not having any footer here you can edit the uh, remaining things as per your requirement okay so let's remove this as well all right so it is also removed and let's add a little intro here in the content section so i'll be adding a rich text editor here so here's rich content editor let's add few lines here uh, we can copy the lines from here okay so let's click on the editor and replace the text okay let's increase the font a little bit you can have 18 18 is great okay so uh, our community is ready now now let's create another uh, community page okay guys we will be adding some more pages here like for testing purpose i can add this about page here so let me just add the about page so you just click on this home page here and there's the option to create a new page uh, let me just reduce the browser size so the option would be visible here it is so let's create a new page and to make it a standard one okay let's select flexible layout here click on next so the page name will be about url will be about okay let's create it All right, guys so this is our new page we can change the layout from here like uh, let's select two column layout okay so in column one guys first of all we will be adding a rich content editor here okay so i will have my profile details here so let's say let's add an image first let's choose the image okay and now let's copy the complete text from here okay okay so this is the about information let's increase the font and we'll make it 18 pixels okay and in column two guys i am i will be adding my certifications i can just copy it from here and paste it directly on my community first of all we have to add a rich text editor here as well so let's just uh, copy the rich text editor here as well okay so we are having the rich text editor on both of the columns now let's edit this one also and replace the text okay we are not able to copy the image because it will be from external sources so we'll be having the image manually so let's add image for the administration certificate first let's click on upload image and this is the admin certificate 
and underneath that we'll be adding the pd1 certificate here so let's add the pd1 certificate image as well let's click on upload button and here's the pd1 certificate image okay now let's resize the images as it seems too big to me and as per the requirement guys you can have different different certificates here as well let's add it this one also okay so my about us page is also ready okay and it's looking good okay now let's go back to the home page let's search for the home page here it is okay guys so let's preview the community once how it is looking okay so this is my community preview let's check the about page okay the page is not linked yet so we have to link the page first so let's click on back to builder and added the navigation i think there should be option to redirect it to another page let's check it below as well okay so this is the option using the page option you can select your page name like i have selected the about page okay let's click on save menu and the menu should have changed here as well let's check it one more time okay in page we are having about page let's click on save and click on preview again so let's check the about page now all right so in about page guys we are having the about information here so same like the about page you can add the projects here you can add gallery you can add some of your professional images in gallery as well and you can add the contact information like you can create a inquiry form here or you can just share your mobile number and email address and remaining information here so guys this was a basic example of creating a portfolio uh, i just don't want to make it a long video so i'll be ending it here but you can customize it let me just show you how you can make this community live let's click on back to builder and in settings we are having an option let me just check it okay here it is public access public access option okay and it is not published yet let me just click on the publish button first now there will be a url available in the public status you got it okay guys so this is my community url let me just copy it from here and try to run this community in an incognito window so this is an incognito window and i'm running this community without login into my salesforce org all right guys so it is working as expected our community is here you can see the url and our portfolio url is here as well so guys using the same technique you can create your own community you can create your own portfolio and you can send them to the recruiter instead of sending your cv to them all right and if you like the video guys a sub to the channel will be awesome hey guys i hope you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below also let me know if you have any query in the comment section below guys i'll try to revert back as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching